Hi guys, welcome back. This is Professor Rank, and in this video I have another quick lesson for you in Prologue. Okay, so there's two things that I want to show you. Uh, number one, I want to show you what a recursive rule looks like, and using recursion we can have an elegant form of repetition. And then after I show you what that looks like, I'm going to introduce you to the Prologue debugger. I'm right, going to show you how to start it, going to show you how to view the different options, and going to show you what the or what it looks like to trace through the execution of a program. All right, so let's take a look at an example of recursive rules or a recursive rule in Prolog. Okay, so here I have my database from a previous video. Okay, and in my previous video, I set up this rule right here on line six. And what this allowed me to do was to examine my facts and see if it was possible for me to travel from one state to another via a third state. So if I wanted to go from Oregon to Arizona, right? Um, it was that possible. Well, according to this rule, yes it is because I would have to go through, or I, I would be going through California in the middle. So I'd be going from Oregon to California and then from California to Arizona. Right, so Prolog would tell me, yeah, no problem, you can do it. Right, now that only works if I am considering exactly three states at any time. What if I wanted to go from, say, California to Maine? Right, a lot of states in between. This rule right here on line six, not going to do it. So that's where the recursion is going to come in. So line seven and eight are going to help us out with that. So how? Okay, so what I have here on line seven is a rule that would allow me to specify, all right, is it possible for me to just travel from A to B, right? Cutting out the middleman. So if I wanted to ask the question, can I travel from California to Nevada, right? So I would query uh, travel California, Nevada. A would be my California, B would be my Nevada. The next two here would evaluate. That would match to this fact down here, yeah. No problem, you can do that. Okay, but if I wanted to go from, say, Oregon to Arizona, right? Oregon would be my A, Arizona would be my B. The next two clause would attempt to resolve. And you see there's no fact down here that says that Oregon is next to Arizona. So this is going to fail. So then the rule on line eight will kick in. Oregon is A, uh, B is Arizona. So the next two attempts to resolve, and so it says, all right, well, Oregon, Arizona, Oregon, Arizona, okay, uh, is there any match down here? No. So then we're gonna recursively call ourselves. This X right here is gonna try to fill in a different starting point, right? So Oregon to Arizona, okay? So is Oregon next to what? Okay, so for that X, it'll then go ahead and try to say, well, how about um, California, right? And so the recursive call here will have California as X and uh, Arizona as B. California, Arizona, yes, right? So in that way, what we're doing is, is we're moving one state at a time. We will first have moved from Oregon to California and then check to see if we can go from California to Nevada. Um, you know, that's not going to be a match because what we want is California, Arizona, not a match, but yes, we have ourselves a match, right? So that's an example of a recursive uh, rule. Okay, so let's go ahead and give it a try. So let's see if we can travel from um, Oregon to California, okay? Uh, yeah, there is a solution, and we were able to travel from Oregon to California, right? So what about can we travel from Arizona to um, Oregon? Okay. There is a solution to that, and yeah, there's we found a solution, and yes, we can travel from Arizona to Oregon, right? So now with those recursive rules, I can have as many states that I want and it'll continuously try to find hops going from one state to another 
uh, until I can find a path from you know my start point to my end point. All right, so next up, debugger basics. Just going to show you how to get the debugger started, how to do a trace, uh, how to view the help menu. Okay, so to start the debugger, you type trace and your period. Okay, so you'll see the output here. It says that the debugger is going to creep. That just means that we're going to be able to go uh, in line by line mode. Okay, so I want to follow along what's happening in memory. Let's see if I can travel from Arizona to Oregon. Okay, hit enter. And so we see the first line. What this is saying is, uh, this is the first thing that I'm going to try to do. And uh, I have one ancestor. There's one thing that led me here which was trying the query in the first place. And so this is saying um, we're going to make a call, and that is we're going to try to evaluate this right here. Okay, so I'm going to hit Enter. So as part of the travel rule, there's a next to clause, and that's getting called now. And so that's the next thing that we're trying to do. And um, there's two things that led us here. So we're trying to evaluate Arizona in Oregon. Is Arizona next to Oregon? Well, that's a fail. Right, because there is no fact that says that Arizona is next to Oregon. So I'll hit enter. Okay, so what this is saying is, well, let's try something else. Okay, let's, let's try to evaluate next to with a different uh, variable, okay, with a different value. So that's what that underscore 86 means, is we're going to fill something in for that. Okay, so we were able to resolve that, right? So picked California as the value to plug in for the for the uh, underscore 86 and so we're done resolving both of those things okay now let's continue on so now here comes the recursive call um, California is essentially taking the place of that X right and so the recursive call now happens and so now X becomes California and B is still Oregon, right? That's what started us off way back on the first line here, right? Where we had, um, we're trying to get from Arizona, which is A, to Oregon, which is B. Okay, so I hit enter. Okay, so as part of the recursive call, next two is being evaluated, and that's gonna be evaluating California and Oregon, right? So California becomes the A, and Oregon becomes the X in our recursive call okay now is California and Oregon next to each other the next two gets evaluated and there is a matching fact that says yeah California next to Oregon okay so we we found a match so that's what that exit means we're done here okay now we had that match that was evaluated now this next exit says yeah we resolved we evaluated and resolved the travel California to Oregon yeah cool we're backing out of the of the depth first search, okay? And so now this exit right here matches up with the very first one. We're backing out, we've evaluated, we've resolved uh, whether or not we can travel from Arizona to Oregon. Can we? Yep. There was the, the resolution procedure, the inference was successful. There was a solution, hit enter again. And yes, you can travel from Arizona to Oregon. Okay, so that's how you can follow along with um, what's happening. Okay, so there is a help menu. So let me show you how to access that. Once you've made a query, so you know, we'll do travel, how about from um, Oregon to Arizona this time, right? Um, hit enter. And from here, if I were to type H, you see that there are all the debugging commands uh, that you can use, right? So if you want to abort this particular run through or this particular query, just hit A, execution aborted. And then once you're done with the debugger, you can just type no trace, period. And the debugger is switched off. Okay, so that's gonna bring this video to a close. Let me go ahead and summarize what we talked about. Uh, first thing that we talked about was uh, recursion. Gave you an example of a recursive rule, and we adapted that to provide a more elegant solution for determining whether or not we could travel from state to state to state through a series of adjacent states. 
And then I went through and showed you how to start up the debugger, walked you through what a trace looks like, showed you how to exit the debugger, uh, showed you how to access the help menu while debugging. For an explanation of what all those options mean, check the documentation uh, for gprolog. I'll leave a link to gprolog in the section below. Okay, so that's going to bring this video to a close. If you felt that the video was useful, please consider giving the video a thumbs up. And if you thought that the video sucked, well, then you've got that thumbs down button as an option as well. If you'd like to see more videos, if you're interested in more content from the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And as usual, if you're a student of mine and you have further questions, feel free to drop me an email or to stop by my office hours. Okay, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.